What is the most difficult challenge on earth for humans? You might think it's the PNP problem. It's the Riemann hypothesis. It's the hard problem of consciousness. It's curing cancer, curing AIDS. It's stopping death. It's stopping war, poverty, pandemic. It's finding the best system of government. No, all of these solutions flow from the fundamental solution, opening your heart to every moment and every person on earth. That is the most difficult and the simplest challenge. It is available and calling to on every human. It can be boiled down to this. Can you be placed in a room with any person on earth at any age with any condition and open-heartedly coexist and communicate. We're talking about a toddler, a gang member, an international banker, a sports player, someone who has aphasia, any person on earth. Can you communicate with them and feel love towards their existence, the, at the very least the coherence of their body? Can you do that? You think you can maybe, but <laughs> try. Every single moment you have with any human, now it can get extended by the way, exist in a room without any other human. Gaze at the furniture, at the walls, at the dust mites and bacteria, etc., the little molecules composing the furniture. Do you feel love for their existence? Or are you indifferent or sort of bored by their existence? You know, many people call this bliss, but really it's love. It's infinite love. Feeling love, adapting and molding love to any moment to any human, any being, is the most difficult challenge. It is the most rewarding challenge. It is the challenge of every third density entity on Earth attempting to graduate into planetary or universal love, whereby every being on the planet is loved by virtue of their existence. Just synonymous with coherence. Existence is love, it's self-love, and therefore loving, living is loving. And you can either ignore the love and place yourself as the only being in that moment which deserves love or coherence, or you can become service to others and love others as oneself. And you become a representative of existence at large and everything else becomes a co-representative. You regard everything with an open heart. Any situation, whether it's illness, violence, inefficiency, incoherence, can be met with love, and that is the most coherent state of being, is love. It is not fully understood, because third density entities want to limit love. Well, I have love for my friends, family, and even certain objects that cause me pleasure or ease, but everything else, you know, how could I love a table? How could I love the walls? How could I love, you know, the, the person in Pakistan that I've never met? How could I love the torturer, the rapist, the serial killer? Well, you have to understand that all positive and negative emotions are quantized in terms of love. And love now becomes a spectrum between compassion for those in pain, mercy for those who are causing pain, and then on the other end of the spectrum is pure joy, which is what people experience at you know, their wedding, at birthday parties, etc., etc., you know, in sex. These things cause pure joy. There are, you know, intermediate quantizations of love, like excitement, loyalty, creativity, etc. These are all attributes of love. The easiest thing you can do, and it's funny because we're talking about the most difficult challenge, but it is simple. It is simple, but extremely difficult. Maximally difficult. You will be thrown, this is why we incarnated, you will be thrown out of the loving state every which way. You know, all of a sudden somebody cuts you off and dents your car, right? How could you possibly love that moment? Well, there's also something called patience and understanding. You have no idea what that person is experiencing. And first of all, you're not regarding them as isomorphic to yourself. You're not regarding them as a co-image. If you do that, then it becomes much easier to soften and open and deepen your heart towards them. So the reason why this is also the most beautiful challenge is because it is open to everyone. Everyone has emotions, and those emotions are expressions, self-expression, self-quantizations of love. Every human, their mission on earth is to increase their love, to expand and express their love every which way. Whenever you are 
blocking a situation, when you're trying to deviate from a situation and say, well, this is just total idiocy. Love doesn't mean that you accept everything as is. Love means that you accept the existence of something, okay? And then you can reconfigure based on more optimal forms of love. But everything is a form of love, everything. Loving is living is bonding. So any bond, whether it's an atomic, molecular, cellular, biosystemic, organismic bond, societal bond, these are just forms of love. The faster you understand this, the more meaningful your mission on Earth will be.